Happy Sunday, everyone! It is Sunday morning. We are getting ready to head to church. It's probably 10 something, I don't know. And then Starlin come out of the door with only one shoe. <laughs> Got both of your shoes now, little girl? Yes. Let's see if I can get out of this obstacle course here. I keep forgetting to return this thing. Do these pants look hot water? No, why are you so... Why are you so all of a sudden... Nice, just conscientious. Yeah. Conscientious. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, worried about clothes? Gum. Well, I can tell you one thing about that shirt. It looks like little wagon wheels. It's been on a hanger too long. So why do you say that? You got this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got the That's hanger. That's where my wings are sprouting. <laughs> got the hanger marks on it. <laughs> Can I have well, a these are in her. Yeah. These are in her closet. closet yeah. Seeing how good you are doing over there. Oh, oh I'm skin tight over here. Yeah. Skin tight. Do you remember that John Ritter movie, Skin Deep? Yeah. Um. You. I don't know. May, it sounds familiar, but I don't... Or maybe that uh, wouldn't... Something. I know there was. Yeah. Hey guys. It's after church. But you just called, so... Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to make a ribbon trim. And I'm going to show you guys. Sort of like in a fast motion, probably. How do I make this? Um, it is going to be... This one is a 5T, and this is what I normally do. I normally just lay the tool out, and this is, I never measure anymore, but the bed from here to here is about two yards. So I went down, so that would be two yards, back up four yards, back down, six yards, back up, eight yards, back down ten yards, and then halfway again. So there's eleven yards here, and this is for a size 5T. So I'm going to use eleven yards. So this is getting stuck. I'm trying to make sure it's straight when I cut it. So I'll use eleven yards, and I use double layers. Because when you have tool like this, it comes, let's see if we can get it over here where you can see. So when you get tool like this, it's folded and there is two layers. See that? And what a lot of people do when they make their tutus, they separate the two layers. So they just use one layer of tool and they put the ribbon on it. and. But I like to keep mine together, just so it has extra thickness. And I know some people have trouble when sewing them. And honestly, I just think it takes a lot of practice. Because I don't seem to have any trouble with it now. But every now and then I will. But the majority of the time, I don't have any trouble. And I'm trying to do this one handy is t terrible. Let me set you guys down. That you guys kind of like that so you can see hopefully my tripod won't fall off the bed but anyway first thing I do is I make sure my edges are somewhat lined up so that it'll be straight and like over here there's some more ruffles there we go so I just try to get it as straight as possible then I just start folding it down. Okay, now I got it all rolled up like so. Oh, I gotta tighten this guy up. There we go. Now I come in with the tape measure. 
Well, actually, the first thing I always do is I always trim off an edge, like this edge. And I just make sure I got all of the folded sides, and I am cutting them all off. So I just cut that off, and I kind of make sure, and it looks all like they've all gotten cut. Then I need to measure. Now it depends on what size you're going to make, how much you need. And this is for a 5T. So let's see. So I'm going to cut it right about. Right about. I'm going to cut it kind of close to the 19. I like to give myself a little extra. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut another one because I've got actually two orders. And the one is for a 5T. And the other one is for a also a 5T, but they're turning four. But they needed the five the waist of the 5T, but the length of a length of a four. So that's why I cut one just about an inch shorter. And now I'm going to go downstairs and make these.
guys, so I got two ribbon trims made. These are both for, this one is, I think they're both 5T. This one's actually for a um, four-year-old, but um, she needed a 5T shirt, but, and then this is just a 5T for a five-year-old. So anyway, I got both of those done. I'm going to take them upstairs. Thirty, and we're going to grill out some steaks so I'm gonna go get those ready and get the grill ready and I got baked potatoes in the oven they're just looking a little weird anyway so tonight we are having steaks I think these are new York strip I'm not sure I'm gonna look they are here yeah, New York strip boneless steak so we're grilling. They're almost done. We like our steaks well done, so they are getting well done. Good. How are you feeling? Good. Here's our pool. It's pretty clean. Except for the bottom. Yeah, a lot of stuff settled on the bottom, but it's pretty clean. Yeah, like... And we got a... We received a comment. Someone said, you're probably sick because of our dirty pool. Um, we have a pump. <laughs> but yeah, she could be sick because of the dirty pool. But... We do have a pump, and there it is. And we try to run it a few hours a day. It's been running since like, two? Oh, before two, Daddy went to work, so one. Yeah, it's been running since like one, and it is now almost seven, so. Yeah, it's been running for six hours. Yeah, it's been running for six hours. But usually we like to run it like a few hours a day before she gets in. Yeah, she uses that. Anyway, she wants to go in the pool. And it is late. Say hi. Hi. What do you want to do? She wants to go for an evening swim. Grandpa's birthday. Let's call and wish him a happy birthday. Today is my dad's birthday, so we're going to call him. Where's everybody else at? You need a little strong, you need Nathan. You need to make a big old thing. Oh, that says Mama. Oh, your Mama Sal, I think. play this to them right here. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that is not... Well, I don't think they're going to work. This person. Oh, don't do that. There's needles in there. You calling I've been, them? I've been eating needles and... That 
Do you have Grandpa's number in your phone? Yes. Do you? Yes. His cell phone? I have his mama's so. cell. <laughs> You're gonna be singing happy birthday to Grandma. I'm sorry. But the person you called has a voicemail box. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> well, they didn't answer. We tried. Hey guys, it is 1024 and I'm going to end the vlog. I really didn't film. Well, I did. I did the little, um, ribbon trim. There they are. I made that one. And then I think that's the one you saw me make. And then I made that one. So both of those are ready to go. They are both for a Peppa Pig. And um, <clears throat> I never did make that rainbow tutu I was gonna make yesterday. Yeah. So all the tools are still here. So I'll make those tomorrow. Tomorrow I have my appointment in the morning. So hopefully everything will go good there. And I'm going to head to bed. And it is my dad's birthday. So happy birthday, Dad. If you do see this, we tried to call you, but no one answered the phone. But anyway, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.